So in this video, we're gonna go over how to do cameras. So right now we're gonna jump into our level one because we're just gonna add in a camera here in our kitchen. So there's two ways of going about this. You can go to view, 3D view, and then go to camera. Or up here at the very top left, where we typically go to our 3D view, where there's a house. If you click on the drop down, you can select camera as well. I'm gonna go through view though, and select camera. And once you select camera, you're gonna see that there's a blue little camera that appears by your cursor. So the key thing here that you wanna know is the first time you click, you're gonna be placing the camera in a stationary point. The next time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and then it's going to place basically the viewing range of that camera. So now that I have my camera, I'm gonna left click here in the corner of the kitchen and then I'm going to drag out these blue lines. Key thing here is you want to make sure that these blue lines exceed the farthest point that you can see. So for example, if my blue lines only went here, I'm only going to be able to see anything within those blue lines. So everything over here, I'm not going to be able to see. So in order to see everything, I need to make sure that it goes farther than what I need. So in this case, I'm going to click here and then it's going to bring up your your camera view. So first thing here, the outside box should be selected initially, and you're gonna see these blue little nodes. You can click and drag those to expand what you can see. Basically, you're just widening the camera pan um, with those. So once you do those, there's a button over here on the right. It's called like basically the full navigation wheel. Um, if you hover over it, you should see a pop up, full navigation wheel. If you click on there, you can use this. So there's a couple buttons on here. Basically how it works is as you move your cursor around, it follows you along. And then when you place your cursor on a specific item, it'll turn green. If you click and hold, you're gonna do whatever that activity is. So in this case, let's say if I click and hold on zoom, and then I move my mouse forward and backward just a little bit, it doesn't take much, you're gonna see that it zooms. If you do orbit, you're gonna see that it's rotating basically around a certain pivot point. Um, this isn't necessarily the best thing to do if you wanna look somewhere else. Sometimes you can get lost using orbit. So the better one is called look. And basically what look does is it, it allows you to turn the camera whatever direction you want it to be. So up, down, left, right, but it's still staying stationary as far as its height goes. So in order to change it, its height, you can do up, down. So if you click and hold and move your mouse up and down, you can actually change the height of where the camera is located. Um, look, walk, if you click and hold and walk and slowly move your mouse, you're gonna be able to move your camera. So basically you're acting like you're walking through that area. So you wanna be careful if you use walk though, because you might end up in one a completely different room than you planned on even being in. So just be careful. And again, with most of these, you only have to move the mouse a little bit. You wanna be very careful, otherwise you might end up in a completely different room. And then uh, basically lastly, pan is just kind of like your standard pan. You can go up, down, left, right. You're just moving your camera a little bit. So in order to get rid of it, you just click the X here up at the top. And from there, that is your camera. You can go into your visual styles here and change it to like shaded. You can change it to consistent colors, rendered, whatever it is that you want it to be. And then if we go back into our level one in our project browser, we can see that the camera is gone. In order to bring up the camera again, in order to make any changes, we simply just go to our 3D views here in our project browser, select it, right click, and then do show camera, and we'll see that it pops up. And then it will show you like the angle to show you the perspective, how far you're looking. Um, if you need to move the camera, just click on it and drag it somewhere else. If you wanted to expand this out, you can. If you wanted to rotate it, click and hold as need be. Okay. And then every time you add in a camera, it comes in as 3D view number one. So my suggestion is, again, when you create a camera, rename it call it something so you know. So call it like kitchen, call it something other than 3D view number one.